Good evening, friends. Welcome back to pediatric classes. Uh, I hope you all are uh, doing good. Uh, today, we will discuss about the recent change which has happened in the fractional IPV schedule in the government immunization uh, according to the NIP, okay, or UIP national immunization schedule. So, this will be a very short video regarding the change. With this introduction, I'll uh, start sharing my uh, screen. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and support the initiative. Okay. So this is the revised fractional IPV schedule in the according to the government immunization schedule from January 1st, 2023. So what will be the number of doses of FIPV? That is three doses, one at six weeks, second at 14th week, and the third at ninth month of age. Please note here, previously it was six and 10, 14 weeks. Now it is been an additional dose is given at nine months of age. Another thing to note here is, according to the IAP, we have recommend uh, the schedule is different. That is at six weeks, 10 weeks, 14 weeks, a booster at one and a half years, another booster at five years. That is 0.5 ml intravascular. Okay, that is according to the IAP. Right now, we are discussing according to the national immunization schedule. Okay, so what will be the dose, root, and site of FIPV according to the NIS? So this is like six weeks and 14 weeks. There is uh, 0.1 ml intradermal. There is no change. The site is... There is no change right upper arm. The changes happen at nine months. There is no change in the dose. There is no change in the root. That is 0.1 ml intradermally. But um, please note the injection is given onto the right upper arm because MR is already we, uh, it, this FIP will be given in the left upper arm because MR is already given at the it will be given at the right upper arm. When will the health staff give the FIPV? This is when the patients turn up for their first dose of MR1 at nine months of age. So what is the eligibility criteria? From 2023, there should be three doses of FIPV to be given to all children. That is one at six weeks, other one at 14 weeks, and additional FIPV at nine months when they come for the MR1 doses. Children who have already received their MR1 dose may not be given additional dose for operational easiness, but all children shall continue to receive FIP 1 at 6 weeks and uh, 14 weeks. There is no change there. Only there is an additional dosage. What will happen? Whether is there any open well policy for applicable to IPV? Yes, open well policy is applicable. As per the guidelines, IPV can be used up to 28 days after opening, provided that the criteria for the multi-dose vial policy are fully met. So this is the uh, summary slide of this. So what exactly is the change? Please note here from till December 30, uh, 2022, as you all know, there are only two doses from January 2023. There are three doses. Age of vaccine is six weeks and 14 weeks according to the government schedule. Now it is six weeks, 14 weeks and additional dose at nine months. Dose of vaccine, 0.1 ml using the BCG syringe. Root is intradermal injection. There is no change there. It's the same. Site of vaccination, when there were two doses, we are giving in the right upper arm. And from January 1st, 2023, nine months when they come, we will be giving in the left upper arm. Because MR vaccine is given at the right upper arm. So that is in short about this very short video. Uh, why I thought of doing this video is because all of us should be aware. We should be uh, not only for the practicing pediatricians, uh, but also for the medical undergraduates. Okay. Thank you so much. And I hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to share and comment. Thank you.